And I think for me, I think when I when I my initial thoughts were when I looked at some of the teams and just you know you know how excited we got doing the Rose Bowl when we see these big brands coming here like a Penn State, a Michigan, or, or a Ohio State, and but just to see them and to become very like a regular thing now to me it was just like man you're gonna have these teams in the Coliseum uh we're traveling there it's gonna be go time every week and to have these type of caliber brands um you know in the stadiums man it's it to me it's just gonna I think the fans are gonna be more apt just to really come out more so than and it's not taking it's not trust me don't it's not taking anything away from the Pac-12 it's not taking from Arizona Arizona State but if you have a team like Penn State uh, over Arizona State, uh, do, who do you think the fans are gonna come out and see? Um, uh, you know, I mean, that's just the Nittany Lions and the Trojans. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And, yeah. and so my initial thoughts were the same as yours. You know, going, you know, uh, Wisconsin, man, they do this crazy jump around song, man. They go absolutely berserk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, video, what man. About. that's what I was. That's the one you talk. Man, yeah. they go crazy up in there. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I mean, it, it, it gave me. And this, they this past season, the beginning of the year. I think they were like an early game in the beginning of the year, and it gave me goosebumps, man. I wanted to jump to the TV. I think it might have been Wisconsin and Washington State I was watching. But the beginning of the game, Washington State beat them coincidentally but this year, but it gave me goosebumps just looking at this game. I'm like, it is go time up in there. If you can't get half fight for that, look, man, something is wrong. Something's wrong, wrong. <laughs> it's wrong, big wrong. You know, it's, it's funny because – Sometimes you just outgrow your, you outgrow your boulevard. You know, like you grow up on the same street your whole life. You yeah. know everybody. You feel comfortable. You got best friends that you've known your whole life. You call each other cousin. You know what I mean? It's like y- y- your best friend's mom. You call her. You call her auntie. You know that type of that that type of feel, feeling. That's what it's yeah. like USC in the in the Pac-12 right now. Yeah, we, we've actually outgrown our street. And now it's time for us to go and, and, you know, build in a new part of town. We need need to go on the other side of the tracks. And it's not something that we're unaccustomed to. If you remember very correctly, the Trojans of, of, of of the ancient days would very customarily march into another terrain's territory and conquer and slaughter and take everything that they needed in terms of resources. That's what made the reign of Troy so prominent, so powerful, is that they would go out and take what they needed. And so I believe that we are now entering this phase in our lives as Trojans, where we need to get on our pilgrimage. We've we've conquered all that we need to conquer over here. Now we need to go take up more space. Yeah. And, And with that being said, now we get the respect of a national spotlight in a conference that has a higher level of uh, credibility nationally. Absolutely. Regardless of whether the credibility is merited or not, we're going to a place that is perceived to be more challenging, perceived to be more difficult. I actually disagree. I think the Pac-12 is about the most competitive conference in the country because all of the teams are so well matched. Yeah. I think that there's huge gaps in between the level of effectiveness of most of the teams in the big conference, there's a big drop off, right? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and so I'm excited to see what that looks like as we explore it. More so, I'm excited for the recruits on the east and southeast and northeast and you know, you know, southern part of the country and Midwest part of the country to see how dynamic, how physical, how violent, how fun our brand of football is and we do have our own exotic brand and it is unique to the cardinal and gold it really is and so i think it's going to reinvigorate our crowd as well our fan base is going to learn how to cheer like those other stadiums in the mid man you, I, I, you 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 making an excellent point you're gonna learn an excellent point and we, we're not gonna have any choice we're gonna have to support you have to support this team because let's think about cool. those big 10 teams they will fill half of that stadium up. And I'm going to tell you that right now. And they yeah. travel very well. They, 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 you they will bust they, your I'm they, yeah. they take this stuff serious when you're talking about traveling. And yeah. and that's pretty, to your point. Um, this guy, Christopher. What's up, my man? Christopher says. What, Christopher? Yeah, Christopher says, what are, you, what are you feeling? USC home against Michigan or USC at Penn State? And to your point, and you can answer this too, but to your point, I think 
USC against Michigan, just to see them in the Coliseum. It's one thing to see them in the Rose Bowl, but to see them in the Coliseum, Amazing. I'm looking forward to that because Amazing. I think that's going to pump our fans up to another level to where it's going to be. Look, everybody going to be jumping around. We all might be going crazy up in there. And I'll make a statement right now. It's going to sound crazy, but I, I'm telling you from a sports science standpoint, also as a performer who's been on those in those environments, I believe wholeheartedly TCU gave Michigan all they could handle. I'm serious. Particularly because, guess what? They were indoors and the field was dry. So TCU could actually use their speed. I believe that in the back half of this of the season, for those teams that play in those cold weather stadiums, open stadiums, and the grass is always wet, soggy, it's cold, they are accustomed to being able to come downhill and make make big contact because the footing is a little bit slippery. Yeah. They, they really understand that. They're gonna be lost in the soft. <laughs> but when you get when you get warm weather, when you get warm weather and the athletes can make true cuts and true cuts, yes. Yeah. It can get in and out. You're not about to just be smashing and smashing and smashing. Right? Now on the flip side, people can say, well you guys aren't gonna be able to sling the ball when it's cold and raining and all that, which very well may be true. But I believe this that it's far simpler to adjust to a r offensive running game when it's cold weather than it is to try to tackle in space with it, with a bunch of guys who move really well and you're and and you're not accustomed to those second level moves that a lot of these guys that we have can perform upfield. And I saw very good TCU players, but guys who weren't making those types of plays all season long, they were dominating Michigan. Absolutely, that's a great point, man. Really.